It's still a cat. It's got an easy life. Puss, puss, puss. Viewers, I'm going to try another little experiment today. Squealing hose on a vacuum cleaner. Let's try a variac in it this time. So we're going to get a variable whistly squealer. is still sleeping. Last time I turned this on, the cat just crapped itself and ran for its life. Sweet spot where it's real. Get it to the right tune. It's about 90 volts, that tune. It's 70 volts. You get a certain tune out of it. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Sounds awesome when you play around with it like that. <laughs> okay, if you want, let's try and vary this thing on this spark cap. Ah, uh, that's all capacity here. Take the power up. Minimum about 100 volts it starts to break uh, arc over. Try something else. Okay, of yours, very action zero, get me chipler, power on. 40 volts input. Right, there's a pretty high um, 50 kV added insulation on here, so should be safe. Gotta find where the input is. The ground's over here. There you go. Black ground. Sixty volts, one hundred volts. One hundred volts input. Interesting, like a flyback. You can call Sparker. Designed for high frequency, but hopefully 50 hertz won't hurt them.
240 volt input. Yeah, this is too much just arcs. You have the right voltage and it works. At a certain point, they get a nice 50 hertz um, buzz coming through. Less of a hum, more of a buzz. Oh, I think I popped it. Oh no. I oh, plugged safety first. Something went crack. Discharge. Yeah, I popped it. Damn it. Yeah, it's got a crack in it. Ah, so you have to use this on flybacks, no matter what. Damn it, I popped my bloody tripler. I have got another one, but it's not so bloody easy to find. Now, yeah? there's rear projection TVs getting thrown in the muddy landfill left, right, and center. I'm not going to be able to find one of these much easier anymore. Damn it, well, that's very unfortunate. I lost the bloody tripler. Oh, well, viewers, that'd be enough for now, so. Thanks for watching.